Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the fact that the dollar strikes back. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we've discussed over the last few weeks, we even put out a video a few days ago, saying that in order to get an idea of where Bitcoin may be headed, you, you simply need to look at the US dollar. And you can find you can find how the dollar is performing by looking at the US dollar currency index, DXY. And DXY basically gives you the valuation of the dollar uh, compared to uh, a basket of other uh, of other currencies corresponding to some US trade partners. And, and so you can see, as we said, that if the dollar rebounds in this area, which is the same level it rebound at the end of 27 or early 2018, which brought in the end of the bull run. If it has a strong rebound, uh, it could bring Bitcoin down in the short term. And that's exactly what we saw. You can see here that uh, Bitcoin starting January 10th dropped significantly uh, all the way down 26%. And during the same time, what was the dollar doing? Well, let's zoom in and see. So if we zoom in, you can see that starting on the 7th, the dollar started moving up, but it, you know, it was still more or less in the same downtrend. It continued moving up, continued moving up, and it's really starting to show a little bit of strength. Over the grand scheme, it's not much of anything. It's still, it's still very much trending down so far. The reason we said that this area is important is because it's where it rebounded last time, more or less, and it chopped sideways from January through April. And during this time, that was the end of the of the bull market for crypto that, that lasted from 2016 and 2017, and even the end of 2015. And then from here, the dollar gained value. And we know that during that same time period, crypto was going through a bear market. In the same manner, during the time when, when Bitcoin was doing very well, and it went on a major parabolic move from December of 2016 until December of 2017, you can see that the dollar was in fact dropping by approximately 14%. You can also see that since March, the dollar has been dropping, and it's dropped around 13.5%. And it's also been it's also been accompanied by a Bitcoin bull market. Same, it was the is literally the same exact thing. If the dollar starts performing badly, Bitcoin does well. Okay, it's as simple as that. And we said keep an eye on this chart. The reason we talk about this is because the general narrative is that well, the money supply has gone up significantly. You know, if we were on the same trend line, we shouldn't have reached this this money supply level for years from now. But you can see that since March, the money supply has increased significantly and from where it theoretically should be based on more or less the trend line it was on, it's up approximately 20%. So the idea is that if the money supply is going through the roof, this could be causing the dollar to continue to depreciate. But we said a few days ago that this narrative is not necessarily true. The reason it's not necessarily true is because if markets just simply moved based on what seemed intuitive, then everyone would be an excellent trader. But it's simply not true. Markets have a way of pricing things in well in advance. Basically, the general idea is that once you know about it, unless you have some, some type of exclusive information on something, once you know about it, the market's already priced it in. That, that's generally how it works. So the idea, and we discussed this a few days ago, the idea that the dollar has to keep going down in the short term just because there's going to be trillions printed is actually not just not true because you could argue that markets are efficient and that they've already priced that in. So we also said that because the market may have already priced that in and because this was also the bottom from 2018 before we trended up, this is a key area we want to look out for. And if it bounces, then it probably will also come with a Bitcoin correction. Okay, this is exactly what we've seen. We've seen a Bitcoin correction. Did anything notable happen? Well, yes, the dollar has increased. And if the dollar continues to increase, 
then it would probably be it would probably be hard for Bitcoin to continue its move up as quickly as it has been. If it chops sideways, then maybe Bitcoin can continue doing its thing. And if it goes much lower, then it could also help catalyze a, a, a sustained bull market for Bitcoin in the short term. But if you want to get insight into where Bitcoin may be headed, watch this like a hawk. Just add it to your trading view, um, you know, one of your trading view tabs or put it over here and just keep an eye on it. Because this was the same, approximately the same level that it bounced at last time. Now, if we go to the macro scale, you can see that while we are kind of chopping in these waters, we're looking at a chart here that goes back to the mid 1980s. So if we were to continue, say, this macro trend of like something like this, and then if we end up coming all the way back down, which I don't necessarily think we would, but if we did, then Bitcoin would probably do quite well during that during that period of time. So what we want to keep an eye on now is will the dollar continue to rebound? Because if we if we zoom in, you can see that it's been doing fairly well for several days in a row. And since and, and since this started, since we've since it's been doing well several days in a row, you can see it's been doing well since January 7th. Let's go look at Bitcoin starting January 7th. What was Bitcoin doing on January 7th? Well, you can see that January 6th, it was leading up into this move. January 7th, it had a move up to 40,000, and then it, it peaked on January 8th. So it started peaking on at, at around $42,000 on the same day that, um, that, that, that the dollar really started to gear up. Within a day or so, it, it, that's when it peaked. So I don't think it's a coincidence. We've looked at this. We've broken it down uh, fairly, you know, fairly significantly in the past. So I'm not going to rehash all the every single bear market and every single bull market. But you can get an idea that if the dollar keeps moving up, it's going to be hard, in my opinion, for Bitcoin to continue to move up as well in the short term. Now, could I be wrong? Of course, the markets are are often unpredictable. As we've said before, just as my, my understanding that is, as we watch the dollar go up, it will likely not be good for Bitcoin in the short term. If you're unfamiliar with DXY and you're like, what is this? What is the US dollar currency index? Again, it's it's basically basing the valuation of the US dollar as a weight as uh, against a lot of other currencies uh, weighted for, for various US trade partners. If you want something a little bit more intuitive, you can look at the USD uh, the dollar versus the euro and and you can see this this fairly impressive bounce by the dollar uh, starting january 6 it's moved up about 1.68 percent you might think well 1.68 percent this is nothing um and and to some degree you know to some degree you're right considering how 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 significant this downtrend has been since march this has been a pretty significant downtrend since march however the reason why this is important, again, is because this is the same level that it found support three years ago. If you guys like the content, subscribe to the channel. Let's go for 90,000 subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up. Check out the Telegram channel in the description below. And if you're looking for exclusive information on the markets, if you want access to, to more of the content that I make, make sure you check out the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your alerts, and I'll see you next time. Bye.